What is up, Parmeniacs? Palsies is here. We are in the world of Minecraft, more specifically SevTech. And uh, you guys are watching this because I've actually managed to record 10 episodes more or less in a row. And that means I wanted to share it with you guys finally. I wanted to make sure it was a pack that I was going to be getting into. Um, the life's really into it. We're enjoying it. So you guys are going to see the footage that we've recorded. Now, uh, I've actually recorded this clip because mm. the original three minute clip that we made broke. This is in a different world, but I just wanted to show you a couple of the basics that I showed you in that other clip that I want to show you now. So this is a complete conversion for Minecraft. It is gated in the aspect that there's a lot of technology you can't touch and items you physically can't even hold in your inventory until you move through the system. Now, each uh, of the ages has a little setup here that's different color than the rest of the uh, setup. And these are the, the tasks you must complete to advance to the next age. I don't know how many ages there are, uh, where it is a very difficult pack to an extent, um, probably not as hard as like Kappa mode, Project Ozone, but it is, it is challenging. Uh, and it's, it is very age based. So it's like, you know, you're a caveman and then you kind of get into the industrial age and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, to start off, you basically have nothing. You have to get going with some basic tools and you'll notice you can't just break uh, wood here because nothing happens. So what you gotta get is you gotta get these uh, strands like this, which you can get from, whoa, like, which you can get from pretty much any uh, grass and then you can combine three of those into plant twine. Then you wanna get some sticks, which you can get by breaking pretty much any tree. And then you wanna find yourself uh, some nice uh, gravel somewhere so that you can make yourself an ax or a pick. Now, well, I mean, you'll end up making them all. So this is kind of an idea of, you know, how difficult the pack is. Um, these right here, uh, you want to be careful to not break too many of them initially. Like this one broke here, but notice how this one doesn't break. That means this is an ore deposit. So later on, there will be ore here somewhere. So make sure you don't break those. Uh, it's like I said, it's it's a pack that's very interesting in the aspect that you know you don't see uh, all of the stuff that you could see. So you know these are all breaking in one hit. If it like this one right here, don't break that because you're going to want to find it later on. Um, and you know you could also. Uh, mark those in your map once you get to that point, which we're not there yet. So that being said, folks, uh, hope you guys are enjoying this series. We're going to split back to the original footage. I think that's everything I covered in the first three minutes. Hope you're as excited as I am. All right. So one of the first steps we need to do is break grass for these fibers here. That gives us these little thingamadoober dealies here which we can then use to, I guess, make different... What is that unfamiliar item? There we go. Uh, and I am harvesting all the crops we find. Isn't this hemp? I won't know till I... No, no, these are cattails, aren't they? Well, actually, no, I think this is hemp. Oh, shit. Is that... Okay, I thought that was, like, quicksand at first, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's pods oil or something. Now this is quicksand. Good lord. That's all I need is a, a freaking drowned. All right, so we have the fibers diet. Um, now we need to make a flint hatchet. So uh, a flint hatchet. Oh, my nose. My nose, please. Not right now. We need a flaked flint, which we can get by... So basically to do this, we're going to need sticks. And we're gonna need some flint. Now, I'm not going over there with the main angry looking dog. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather not get my ass kicked by that. Okay, do we get some sticks here? It looks like we got a couple. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more. Dude, these trees look beautiful. This is great. Uh, now, if you've never heard of this pack, which I'll find shocking, but if you've never heard of it, you can find it on. Um, what do you call it? Twitch.tv, well not Twitch.tv, the uh, Twitch launcher. Uh, it may also be available in other places. <coughs> Excuse me, I got mine on the Twitch launcher, so keep that in mind. All right, so we have everything we need minus the flint. So we're looking for gravel. Oh, sweet. You can actually see the direction that the water's flowing. That is really cool. I like that. You don't get to see, is that a bear? Nice bear. 
Um, I'm following the river here, so to speak, because a lot of times rivers have gravel in them. Yep, here we go. He says as he finds gravel. Holy cow, dude, this is rough. I'm already missing the vein miner, my friend. I'm telling you what. Okay, so we drop down, pick those up. Let's come over here real quick and see if we can not get... Good lord. No, 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 no. Okay, we'll get some... Spin. Was that a fish? Like an actual fish? Okay, is there a way to make gravel out of flint? So we can make a grass fiber mesh, which is perfect. So we go boom, boom, and then uh, ba da ba da, all the way around apparently. Are you kidding me? It has to be in a crafting matrix? It does have to be in a crafting table. Okay. So that's kind of a catch 22 then because we can't get that. We can't get that, I don't think, because I don't think you can punch wood. I've heard, I mean, it, I guess we'll try it, but I'm pretty sure we can't punch wood. Maybe wrong. Nope, see, it broke, but we got zilch for it. I like this little spot here. This is a nice little cave system of trees. It's like a little uh, hidden, there we go. Like a little hidden forest or whatever. I like it, like a little grove inside the forest. That's probably the words I'm looking for. This is a really pretty layout. All right, it's getting nighttime, which is gonna scare me here in a minute because we have still yet to find any uh, solid weaponry. Here we go. All right, we should be able to get some gravel here. All right, let me uh, get to mining, and once we get some actual gravel, we'll pick up there. All right, so as usual, uh, your your buddy Pyro's a moron. Um, so this looked like this, but it's not. See, it uh, it is a, a strands of something that has been created. So there we go, and then you can see. We now have plenty of flint, because I mined out all this crap, because I'm a crazy man. Put that there. All right, so now that we have that, uh, what was it, a flint axe? So we need, we need to flake the flint, which is, it says flaking it in the world. So I'm gonna pick some of this stuff off. Uh, you have to be careful with stuff you don't, like unfamiliar items, because it, it, they'll just drop. There we go. Interesting. So now it's boom. Uh, actually, it's probably going to be the... Yeah, boom, boom, and then bam, right? Yes, there we go. Now we got a hatchet. hey -o. All right, perfect. So we've now moved up to here. Now we need a pickaxe. And I need to hold a stick in each hand and click on a block to create fire. Uh, in each hand? That I don't understand. Oh, that was cool. I like that. I like that. Papa Pyro's gonna get into all <laughs> sorts of trouble with that. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're going to need to uh, actually get some trees to get that rolling. I wish we'd known about that a little sooner. We would have had a little bit nicer of a day. Uh, we're going to let that keep burning. We're going to come up here and uh, I'm curious. I was kind of hoping the tree would like maybe chop. But it, it doesn't look like that's the case. Hey, there we go. Pick all the stuff up here as it drops. Not seeing any scary things yet. Uh, we do have a nice crop field right here next to our base, which is nice. Why well, I'm calling, you know, I've, I'm always called the mole man. Hello! Ow. Okay. Let's, uh, let's grab our wood and retreat to our hovel. 
where, uh, where bad things can't happen to us. Okay. So we have 10, I believe. Oh, that's a chopping block. Okay. Uh, so we'll put our chopping block right here for now. Okay. So we've done that. We've done this. We've done this. Not crafting tables yet. Use a work stump instead. Okay. Work stump. Work stump. How do you make a work stump? Jungle wood with a chopping block. Okay. So I'm hoping it's not just jungle wood. There we go. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping it wasn't just jungle wood because that would suck. Okay. So you can see now we can actually lay out things in here, which is a little different than what we could before. So let me go ahead and make a couple of these real quick. And then we want to make the rest of our flint tools that we need. So for this one, we need two flaked, um, two sticks, and then the twine. So let me get the sticks. So it was what? Stick, stick, flint, flint, and then there. Can I not get it in there? Okay. So now that I've got it all in there, how does it work? Use work stuff to craft an item, place items in the correct pattern, and use a crafting rock to right click the recipe into the existence. When you finish placing the rock in its home at the front of the table, a crafting rock? Are you fucking kit? Okay. Okay. It worked. Odd, but okay. So that's got us now to this. Um, we need use some rocks, twine, and sticks to make a fire pit. Use typical fuel items to light it and insert items to be cooked. Okay, I would like a fire pit, honestly. So let's go ahead and get the fire pit created. I'd like to clear some of this out real fast though, since this is gonna be our little caveman house for now. Um, and there's a part of me that's a little worried about putting fire right next to our wooden stuff. So we're gonna put the fire over here. So a fire pit. Uh, that's not there we go fire pit so I need three rocks sticks and plant twine that's easy so we've got stick 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 and then rock 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 and then plant twine there we go put that down there so it wants normal, oh, that's awesome. I like it. I like it. Uh, upgraded fire pit with something a bit more great. The grill needs a heat source. I don't understand why these are all purple that, that I don't get. Maybe that's like the, the wave to the next uh, advancement, so to speak. I'm not sure. All right, so we need a grill. We should be pretty easy to make, I would think. Um, three rocks and shit. Well, I have three rocks and I have this. I don't know if it will take, yeah. I, I don't know if it will take this is my only question. So, whoops. So we go one, two, three. I'm hoping you guys can see still. It's a little dark. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'll work. So I'm gonna have to make a furnace then, which is unfortunate. Okay, put that there. Do we even have a furnace? <coughs> Excuse me. Use typical fuel line and insert items to be cooked. Okay, so let's let's try this again. Yeah, I don't see a way to insert an item to be cooked. So... And I don't think that's cooking that item, honestly. Yeah, no. I don't want to break it. Okay, well. Um, looks like a bone in a shop, like, or stone turned to a sharp bone. Well, I do have one of those, so... We've got that knocked out. 
So, Jesus. So we're stuck on the grill part. But let's see if you want to work. I'm going to use your user break leaves. So what is this? A work blade. Okay, sticks and flaked flint and the leather. Okay, might as well just do this because we're going to be using it for all that stuff. So that's plant twine. Um, I have the sticks. We need more flaked flint. That's what we need. Apparently there's a very specific speed with which to do this. <laughs> okay. I think we're good there. All right, so work blade, sticks. All right, so that's gonna be, uh, we don't need, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, I think it was like this. And then, wasn't it like that? Yep, there we go. Work blade. All right. And then we need the pickaxe, spear, and free range. Uh, no, okay, so pickaxe first. Uh, that one's pretty easy. And then spear. That one's also pretty easy. And the last one was tomahawk. Also easy. Okay. Doing that one wrong? Plate flint, plate flint. What the hell? Okay, I'm confused. Flaked flint, flake, oh, flake flint point. Ah, okay. Doesn't tell me how to make a flaked flint point though. So if I want to make a flake flint point, I don't understand. Crash painting a base item against the switch on the higher surface. The resulting flakes are used for gradual rewards. Be warded. Flaking is not always successful. Try again. Okay. Okay, I just was hitting the wrong button. Okay, so flake point. No. Whoops. Okay. You. 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 And you. There we go. All right. So we have all the basic tools now, which means we can spearfish. We can um, do the farming stuff. We've got everything now except for down here, which is where I'm kind of stuck because it... It doesn't seem like we can make the stone we need yet. Mm. Nice little caramel macchiato. Starting the day off right. Okay. So I'm a little in I'm, I'm a little confused as there's no water over here. Um Am I just getting like honked? What the fuck? Okay. And I also just realized we have no, we have no way to uh, mark our house at the moment. 
Full screen requires the mapping stage. Okay. We're going to try and spearfish. Because I remember there's water right over here. And I think we... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And our base is basically immediately... So I'll keep this right here as our waypoint to know how to get there. And I saw a fish the last time I was here. Remember it was like up against the wall? We were like, what the hell is that? That's spear fishing up here. There we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Spear. Hello. That was cool. All right, so that's how you spearfish. And unfortunately, that burns a spear each time you do it, which is heartbreaking. Um, learn the basics of farming from a farming village or trade by trading for farmland. Farmland cannot be tilled by hoe in age zero. You will need to craft and place it near water. Yeah, uh, I don't see a single village, he says, as he finds a village. Um, okay. I'm going to need to make a... Because otherwise we're going to get lost real fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a totem here. Okay. There's the village. Let's scamper over there and see what they got. This is actually kind of cool. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this so far. So we gather some uh, some food on our way. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of quicksand. Dude, they would have to be, of course, across the damn ocean, right? Hope everything over here is uh, at least non-carnivorous. Oh, it looks cool down here. Didn't they do like an upgrade to like the Minecraft water and swimming and stuff? I don't remember. I remember hearing about it, but I, I've been kind of out of the Minecraft scene for a while. <clears throat> All right. What do we got over here? Whoop. Those mushrooms? I think those are mushrooms. All right, so let's sort our inventory. Hello, villager. So you give me Shagoth flesh for monolith stone. And that's all you care about. Wow, y'all's farm's kind of shitty. And that's putting it rather nicely. Uh, eight bone meal will let you give me some farmland. Wait, one potato will give me some cotton? Why would I? Okay. So you are a farmer, but you don't have what I need. I wasn't sure what this stuff was. I was really hoping it wasn't going to like eat me. Hello. Uh, a bone meal for farmland. Seems like all of them want bone meal. What about you, buddy? Uh, one bone for raw pork chop. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa, 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 what was that? Fish for what? Raw shark meat. Interesting. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Any other villagers around? I'm starting to think you guys are like really, ow, really shitty farmers. So they all want bone meal for the farmland. This guy will give me string for four flaked. I don't know what we need string for at the moment, but okay. Yeah, that's okay. This is okay to walk on. Uh, I think I saw everybody here. Wait, wait, I didn't talk to you. I know that for a fact. And there's a couple on the other side I didn't talk to. Here we go. Empty Antique Atlas. He wants four feathers and 12 ink sacks. Holy shit. Okay. I don't have any way to like store anything yet. <laughs> um, I guess I can kill them with tomahawks. That's 2.5 damage. Flint hatchet is still my best tool. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I need your feathers. 
Uh oh, it froze for a second there. Hi, I'm just murdering this chicken. Pay no attention to me. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this tan turkey tail because I don't even know what it is. We're gonna get rid of the whittled sticks because those are easy to get back. We'll hang on to the hemp seeds. Did that drop feathers? It did. Okay. So we need to kill. I think it was four feathers and 12. Oh, there was another. Oh, there's some feathers. There's some feathers. Hey, we got all the feathers we need. Okay, perfect. Now I need to go rip the sacks off some squids real quick. Okay, I didn't even have to kill that chicken. <laughs> I feel bad now. Minorly. Alright. Let's head back over here. Uh, we'll get rid of the hemp. We'll get rid of the poppy because I don't need either of those. At least not yet. I hear lava. That's a scary sound. Also don't see our totem. But I know it's there. All right, we need 12 ink sacks, 12 ink sacks. Come here, Squidaroo. How many sacks you give me? What, what's growling at me? Oh, why are there angry dogs? Okay, well, whatever. All right, puts us at what? Four? All right, we need a couple more. And by a couple, I mean quite a few. Come here, Mr. Squidney. Squiddy squid, squiddy squid. All right, all right, dog, you can have those. Shit, no need to be rude. I can't see, because of the ink. Should be another one right over, yep, there we go. We're at nine, we need 12. Kind of feel bad murdering you all, but if one of you would just give me some sacks. That's 11, I of course need one more. <laughs> It'd be too easy to give it to me all there at once. I still don't see our totem, I'm a little worried about this. I think it's one more river over. I should have taken bets on whether or not you guys thought I'd be able to find my house again. I mean, I guess it's still early enough to do that. Let's let's see him in the comment section below. Because I don't think we're going to make it back to the house in this episode. So, you guys think we'll ever find our mud pit again? Uh, let me know in the comment section. So, let's see if we can get like, I don't know, 10 or so votes on whether or not I'm going to find my house again. I mean, I, I think I was a good caveman and left myself some... Uh, some directionality so we'll just see if I can figure out where that is and if I can find it again surely to god I can find that hole right all right so now I believe we've got all the stuff we need there's the villager in the lab coat wait there's two of them now there were not two of them before they're multiplying all right so there's five there's twelve give me that book all right so now I have the Lost Trade and Antique Atlas map from a cartographer or librarian. All right, and then we need to get, what is that? Mechanist's Journal, the Book of Single. The Book of Single Better with Mods, okay. So we need some hemp fibers, which I don't technically have at the moment. And you're a cartographer too, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I've got to actually get the yeah see they want bone meal so and i don't think getting bone meal is as easy as just yeah that's what i was thinking we're gonna need some basics we're gonna need a millstone before we get to that and the millstone is way the freaking hell down here so uh that's gonna be a different episode apparently uh, unless i can find one of these guys who will sell it to me for a different price and i don't I, everybody that i talk to seem to be hey seem to be the same price except for demon boy over here who's like i want show goth it's like all right i uh that, that's one of the few things about this pack i do remember is the show goth so those things were those things were not fun all right let's try not to bump into the venus flytrap again um, any of you guys, I'm wondering if somebody will maybe trade me something for bone meal. 
Because if I can find somebody who will trade me something for bone meal, then I can trade kind of around for it. No. Yeah, he wants apple seeds. Good God. They really value that bone meal. Of course, I guess they're all farmers, so. But you would think there'd be like something that we could give them. I mean, I guess that makes sense. As a farmer, bone meal is going to be like your top priority. And there's not going to be much anybody can do to talk you out of, you know, that, so to speak. Okay. Well, I think we're going to spend the night in this really crappy house. Um, yeah, he wants brought. Damn it. I was hoping we... No. Yeah, we're just going to have to head back and chill at the house. And then once we get back to the house, we can uh, advance to milling and then come back. Because I, I can't see any other way to get this um, without it. So we're going to have to buy the farmland with the chip bones. And as far as I can tell, unless I'm missing something. Bone meal, millstone, crusher, grindstone can do it, but that's the horsepower stuff, which we haven't quite got to yet. So, yeah. That'll be a bit. We're not there yet. So the, the millstone will be our, our first option. Anyways, uh, in the comment section below, let me know if you guys think I'm going to actually make it back to the house or not. Um, we'll see who was right, the uh, the yeas and the nays. Looking forward to seeing what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited about the series. If you are, let me know by slapping that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Hello, everyone! I am so sorry that this video is delayed. Um, this is the new credits in the new editor, DaVinci Resolve, which I am very thankful that uh, Funaway Guy on uh, Twitter recommended. Um, Anyways, let's get to the credits. These are the people who have chosen to financially support the channel, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I know it's the apocalypse, so uh, it, it's even more appreciated. Um, before I read this list, do keep in mind, if you are in any financial trouble at all or hurting, please don't support me. Only support me if you can financially do so and if your family is taken care of, because I'm good. I have a job right now. Everything's fine. I am not suffering or in dire need of money. All of this is just money I can then use to throw into video games and equipment for me and Kat. Um, and it is something that we are very appreciative of, but it is not something that we are in dire need of. So only do it if you want to support the channel and you want to support the company content anyways alex knife joker 18 months cole walker 18 months dagger cook 17 months 22 kelvin 15 months i think you changed your name sir ronald weasley 24 14 months x legion 14 months star wars john josh smith i always call you john sorry nine months xerxes break 59 eight months chandler porter eight months coaster eight months alex mcguani seven months and oakley thomas tucker two months i want to thank all of you guys so very much for the support also i am using a new editor so please 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 let me know if something is off let me know in the comment section below that being said uh, let me know what you guys think about the new series, and I'll see you guys next time.